So I was burned in a house fire when I was six weeks old. It was September 1st, 1992, and the fire happened in a mobile home. My biological parents had five kids at the time, ages four, three, two, one, and six weeks old, and they decided to leave all five of us home alone unsupervised. My four-year-old brother decided to play with a lighter. He was six weeks old, and his airway was so tiny and so damaged that they couldn't put an airway in there. So MedFlight was on the way, the medical helicopter, and everybody thought, you know, well, MedFlight will be able to intubate him. They do this a million times a day, except they couldn't. So they made arrangements uh, for a surgeon to be waiting for the helicopter when it landed and to trach him before he ever even went to the OR. And we were looking up statistics for a six-week-old infant of his weight, which was approximately seven pounds, surviving a 43% total body surface area burned, and there were none. Now, this was 30 years ago, but there were none. So um, every day, you know, you'd come to work and, and you would just see his name that he was still there. I've just had all kinds of surgeries that were, were painful and uncomfortable. But besides that, after the recovery, um, you know, I didn't really have any chronic pain or anything like that. When it comes to growing up with this family, it was just, you know, trying to be a normal kid. Uh, you know, going to school. You know, you see all kinds of stories on the news about, you know, so-and-so uh, building caught on fire. I think I even saw one just yesterday, a news article about it. You don't really see any articles on news stories for when fire sprinklers stop fires from happening because that's not a news story. It should be.